What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner Easter edition. <laughs> so uh, if you're seeing this, it's probably going to be on Saturday instead of our normal Sunday this week because of Easter. And they're going to have programming on at our normal time at 11 a.m. So you're probably catching us at 5.30 p.m. here on ABC. Uh, but we want to start out by giving a special shout out to one of our fans, Patricia. So yeah. if you're watching, big shout out to you. Yes. Um, it was cool. That you was know? super cool. Uh, you know, when me and Sharice are out, we're regular people, right? We don't think about anything else. Right. We're just, you know, going about our normal day. And uh, some people will recognize us and stuff like that, even with the masks on and stuff like that. They might see the Titan cars or whatever it is. It spurs that, you know, recognition. Yeah. But they, they see us, and they'll, you know, they'll come up to us and be like, hey, listen, you know, I, I watch your show. I'm like, really? You know, because to us, it's like, Really? You really watch our show? <laughs> you but, watch it? But it's, it's, it's really cool to hear a lot of the feedback and to have people come up and, you know, be excited about the show and, and talk about some of the things that the shows have covered. You know, with Patricia, she said she's watched the last six months, so she's seen a lot of different things from the COVID episodes to, yep. you know, some of the tips and tricks that we give out and all, these, cool. all these really cool things. That was really cool. You know, and, and that's special to us. So if you do see us out in public... Please, we're yeah, come say hi. Like I mean, you know, we don't you know? bite. We don't, we don't bite. Come take a picture with us. <laughs> say hello. You know, maybe share something you might like, or maybe just ask a question. You know, within range. Yeah, uh, don't, don't ask anything. Don't crazy. be dumb now, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it, it's just cool. So if you guys do see us out or anything like that, or you have feedback, please let us know because that just motivates us even more to bring you this great content. To want to, you know, just go above and beyond every Sunday or every episode that we do. So that's just a little tidbit from us. So thank you guys for all the support. Yeah, thanks, Patricia. Up, and we'll keep bringing you this awesome content. So if you guys are just tuning in to Cuba's Corner, every week we'd like to share with you guys tips, tricks that are going to enhance your relationship, maybe take it to another level, reignite those flames that might have been diminished, diminished over time. Or maybe if you're single, you need some help in that area, or you might not you know, think about some of these different things that might help you mm -hmm. in your future relationship. So that's what we're here for you guys. We're here to help you guys, enhance things all the way around, but especially in your relationship with Cupid's Corner. <laughs> so this week is a special week, you know, with Easter being tomorrow, because um, it's a Saturday, you know, at that point. Happy Easter, by Happy the way. Happy Easter to everybody mm -hmm. that celebrates Easter. You know, some people don't celebrate Easter because of religion things. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do celebrate Easter or at least know what Easter is about. Um, it's always good. So... You know, Easter should be a, a time for couples especially, uh, for families, even if you're single, right? Um, and you're starting traditions. Um, and Easter, obviously, you know, if, if you are like Catholic or Christianity or anything like that, this is when, when Christ has risen. That, that's what Easter is all about. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for us, it's real special. Now, everybody associates Easter with the bunny. Or with a bunny, per se, right? The Easter bunny. If, if you're Greek, you associate Easter with a lamb. <laughs> lamb? Man, that lamb's good. <laughs> or, or the red dyed eggs. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. That, that's another big that's thing right. with us Greeks. That's right. You crack them like that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was cool. I've never done that before, yeah. see? So, you know, each religion, or, you know, that might celebrate Easter might have a little different tradition or cultural difference with them, right? Um, and with this with, is pretty cool with Greek in Greece, you know, in Greeks, it's, it's a little different for us. I mean, usually we celebrate on the exact same day. The only difference between Greek Easter and American Easter is the date that it falls on. Yeah. Sometimes they fall on the exact same date. Sometimes they don't. So this Easter is going to fall on, I think, May couple, 2nd yeah, this year. Yeah, a couple weeks apart. Um, so it's going to be a couple weeks apart. So, you know, for my son, he'll get to celebrate Easter twice. Uh, it's just, you know, it's a benefit of being Greek, I guess, right? And Even so, when it's just one Easter, he still gets two baskets. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that's what it is. It, it should be a fun time. With Greeks now, we have red dyed eggs. With regular Easter, you know, a good thing is is to, you know, to, to do the dyeing of the eggs with your kids. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that, if you're watching, Mom, because I know you one. like to watch and then give me feedback a couple hours after the episode. Um, you know, unfortunately... Until I met John, yeah. I had never ever. I know, I was so I was so just. Dyed eggs. I, I've never dyed an egg before. Are you kidding me right I, now? I just never I, decorate I, eggs. I no, I no, I never did. I did the Easter egg hunt. That was cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I went to church. Yep. But I've never ever my whole life, not once, have I ever dyed an egg, ever. 
until I met John. And he's like, he, we did it obviously for Peter, you know, because he's a little one. We yeah. got to do it. You know, yeah. it's like a traditional kind of thing. Yeah. And, you know, when I told him that I've never done it before, he's like, <laughs> he's like, you're kidding, right? I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, I've never done an egg. I've never put stickers on an egg. I've never drove, yeah. like, rode on an egg. You know, I was like, I'm so confused. What's going on? <laughs> so it's, it's cool, right? And here's an example. If you're a couple or maybe you're single and you might get into a relationship and somebody says, you know, I've never done this before. This is your time to shine. <laughs> and let me tell you why. Because this is the first time they'll ever experience that yep. scenario, situation, or activity. So this is like an everlasting impression. Like when this person thinks about Easter or dying eggs, mm -hmm. they're going to think about you and the experience. Yep. So this is, like I said, this is your time to shine. And with Cherise, I've been lucky, honestly. I got to take, and she's lived in Florida pretty much all her life, right? Never so went like, to Disney World either. Old, no Disney World. You live in Florida an hour away, right? And all these different things, like, like, like experiences that, you know, I would think that pretty much everybody did, especially if you live in Florida. You know, I grew up up north 21 years. And on vacation, we came down here, and, you know, I got to experience these different things. So I thought maybe if I did it, you know, obviously something that lived here. Can't assume, okay? You Don't ever assume. assume. Always confirm. That's a very terrible right? word here, I yeah, tell you. Yeah, never assume. <laughs> but, you know, Easter is one of those different traditions, too. So, mm -hmm. and then dying eggs goes right along with it. And you can do this with your loved one, you know, if it's just you, your wife, your girlfriend. Or you can do it with the family, you know. And it's great activity. It's awesome bonding time. Mm -hmm. You can dye each other, you know, different egg colors. You can write their names on it. It's just, it's really cool. It's a really good experience. Be creative and, about and, it. It creates great memories. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what a lot of people, you know, they, they don't get. They don't get good memories of, of these certain things. And I think that's the things that are missed, you know, during these times. Mm -hmm. And especially right now. Like, right now with technology, you can document everything, take pictures, videos. And they're going to pretty much last forever. Where, you know, when we were a kid, like you, we were talking about the other day, like, you had, you had a camera, but you had to, like, scroll to the next one, and then you had to go with that, that film. And like, drop it off. You know, you dropped off. Came and back, like, a couple of days and, later. You know, you, you had know? the physical pictures. If something <laughs> happened, that physical picture. Then it's gone. And it's gone, right. So, yeah. you know, now it's, like, everlasting. You know, you can document this stuff and, and stuff with the family or the loved ones. And it's just really cool. You know, on that side of it, if it's just you and, and your wife or girlfriend and stuff like that, and... You know, if you do celebrate Easter, you don't celebrate Easter. You know, it's something you guys can maybe take in the bedroom, right? Role play, like Easter bunny, uh, egg hunts, or whatever you guys are going to do. <laughs> or something hunts. something cute. Like, you know, like you can do it like an Easter egg hunt for adults. And, you know, like Be for cute. kids, like what we used to do for Peter was we'd get the plastic eggs. And we'd put like a dollar in one egg, put like a $5 bill in another egg, and maybe a 10 or something like that. And then, you know, put it in with the candy and like yeah. put it around the house and stuff. Yeah, and make them search for it, you know. Yeah. And you guys can do the exact same thing. It could be like a fun game that you guys do between each other. And at that point, you guys could write in there like different things. I owe you, you know, a back massage, whatever it is. Yeah, that'd be cute. You know, it, it just it, certain things like that will enhance the holiday. If you celebrate it, it's just, it's even cooler, right? If you don't celebrate Easter, you don't believe in Easter because religion. You can still do, like, you can even go to dinner. Go but, to dinner. Absolutely. Do something, you know, just absolutely. go out. Just you guys. Use it as a date night. Absolutely. Or so, brunch. Brunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever it is, but you mm -hmm. guys are celebrating the time and starting a tradition of one way or another. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just really cool. These things are very special, and uh, if you have kids, they're going to remember this their whole lives. They're going to remember dying the age with you and doing these certain things that you might think are stupid now. You know, so some of those are like, that's just stupid. Why are we doing this anymore? But no, the reason why is tradition, right? Yeah. And that tradition keeps going on and on and on. It gets passed down and, and, you know, other people benefit from it. Your grandkids or other kids or whatever it is. But it's, it should be a special time. Yeah. You know, holidays should definitely be a special time. It's just, Utilize it, you know, to do yeah. something that you guys will remember. You know, like Absolutely. me, like I told you guys. I remember my first times dying eggs with John, you know, John and Peter. And yeah. then we, I, re I remember specifically too, you know, the very first time that we all made, we made these eggs and, you know, Peter labeled them as like mom, dad, and Peter. Yeah. And like one was blue, one was pink. I remember yeah. it to the T yeah. and he like drew on it, like little faces. Yeah. So it was cute, you know, yeah. it's just, it's cool to have that memory 
Because memories, they're not going to go anywhere. I they mean, last forever. You get dementia or something. That would be terrible. And then at that point, listen, that's why you document them. You know, you do a video and just put the camera up. You don't have to, like, hold it the whole time. Put it yeah. there. And you, and the whole, you and the family going over things. Pictures, look at things, anything. You know? Just something to look back on. It's really cool, you know. And you can show it to your kids when they grow up. Like, look, you know, look what we did. Look what we used to do and stuff like that. So it's just really cool. Like, this stuff is, like, it's sentimental. Um, and I think people, they, they lose out on that these days. They don't have a lot of sentimental things. People aren't attached to things anymore. People are going through so many problems, issues now. that we forget about some of these different things mm -hmm. that really mold us, you know, as people. And, um, you know, and pass on these different things. Like the whole cancel culture thing and all that out there. Mm -hmm. Like we forget about some of these different things that, you know, they might not be politically correct in a lot of ways or shapes and forms, but... You know been what? Been there forever. They've been there forever. We've <laughs> been, been doing, doing this forever. forever. So, you know, don't don't go against that. You know, I mean, if obviously there was traditions put in place. Some might have been good, and the bad ones. Listen, we don't do, but the good ones, you should definitely take advantage of. I mean, even so, you can guys also you can utilize this holiday to get together with friends and family. So, for instance, you know, we're getting a couple friends together and some family members together for our Easter, yep. which is cool because, you know, me personally, I don't really cook, you know, I told you I don't cook. Um, but honey, honey baked hams! hams. <laughs> honey baked ham to the rescue! Oh, man, they showed up today, man. I put them in the, <laughs> the fridge or anything. So, yeah, it's really cool. So, like, you know, those people that don't have families and stuff like that, like, you know, offer to extend out to them because, you know, they're feeling some type of way, like, you know, they, they don't have families and stuff like that that might be down, might cause depression. Yeah. You know, that might be, you know, sad and alone. And you'd be surprised how you could really, truly make somebody's entire year, month, day, whatever it is, just by having them over for a couple hours and just, you know, yeah. literally all you're doing, you're breaking bread with them. You're going to yeah. eat, maybe have yeah. a drink, you know, yeah. hang out, talk a little bit, you yeah. know, catch up with each other. Just utilize it as like a bonding for whatever it is. Bonding with your significant other, right. bonding with your family, bonding with your mom and dad, bonding with your little one, make them a cute little basket, yes. put something nice in it. Yes. Everybody's so used to going to the store, right? right. And they'll buy the basket that's pre-made. Now, that's, there's no problem with that. You know, there's, yeah. that's easy and they usually like it, a little toy gun, a little soccer ball, yeah. some some yeah. Skittles, you know, yeah. maybe a couple Starbursts, yeah. cute, they open it, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, if you have the time, it's about the same amount of money, you know, it maybe really like is. six to 10 bucks, yeah. right? You put together your own basket and put together different kinds of candies that they might like yeah. specifically. Yeah. Um, maybe put a little card in there, a definitely, note. Definitely. Like, I mean, last year, I think we did like Pokemon cards for Peter. Yeah. That was easy, you yeah. know. But I mean, just little things like that that they'll remember, yeah. you know, and it's coming from you, like from deep down inside. And listen, if you don't have kids, here's a great thing for you guys to do, right? Create your own basket for your significant other. Yeah, and there could be all the different things like Put for underwear girls, in there. underwear, lotions. I mean, you know, like di different things. That Get they her like. a bunny, a soft bunny. Yeah, something personalized. You know, <laughs> so at that point, these are just some of the different things that we like to share about our Easter. And uh, hopefully, you guys are going to have a great Easter too, as well, making memories. If you don't celebrate Easter, that's okay. Go out and make a tradition for yourselves, whatever yeah. it is, okay? Share good times with your significant other and your family. Yep. So this is just another great episode of Cupid's Corner. We thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check us out every Sunday at 11 a.m. here on ABC. And if you miss a show or want to watch it again, check it out. You can DVR it or you can go right to YouTube and check out our episodes there. Just search Titan Medical Center and always on our social media platforms as well. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll be back with another Cupid's Corner next week. I'll see you then.